I hope you're all excited. And uh, I hope this gives you encouragement because it, it did give me encouragement. We all know our Bible. We know our Bible verses. Here's the date today. As we know, the 19th. And three days later would be the 23rd. These are high watches for me. The wave sheaf offering is the third day. And I pet goat, it has 923 on the wall, which the ninth month, November, means nine. So I will show you this right here. It says, Know this when the parable of the fig tree, when the branch is yet tender and put forth their leaves, you know that summer is nigh. This right here, uh, in the winter, most people that have fig trees know that it sheds its leaves and puts forth new leaves. New leaves. And that is happening right now, okay? I have a person in, some friends in Texas, they will tell you the same thing. It sheds its leaves. It also says... In Revelations, it says, The stars fall from heaven unto the earth, even as the fig tree crasheth her untimely figs when she has shaken with a mighty wind. If you go to untimely in the Bible, it also talks about infants. Untimely birth had had not been as infants which have never saw light. It says right here, Psalms, as a snare which melteth, tell everyone that passes away like the untimely birth of a woman that they no see will not see the sun. Untimely birth. A man begot right here. Untimely birth. That's what we are looking for. Jesus said he'll come at a time that we think not. So all these verses, untimely, there's only four of them. It has to do with the birth. Untimely figs. As I show you right here. The parable of fig tree. When the branches are tender and put forth their leaves, you know that summer is nigh. In the southern hemisphere, it also says in the Bible, pray your flight not be in winter. In the southern hemisphere, it's starting to get towards summer. If you go to the olive, if you go to Luke right here, it's talking about the parable of the fig tree. Behold. I don't want to mess this up because I got it highlighted. It says right here, and he spake to them a parable of the fig tree and all the trees. It says all the trees. It says right here. So likewise, you know, when all these things come to pass. It's talking about the trees. You know that summer is nigh at hand. It says so likewise, you know that when all these things come to pass. And it's talking about the trees and the fig trees. All these things come to pass. The, the parable of the trees and all the trees. Well, the last one that I know of is the olives. Right here. Olives are harvested in October to January. Right here. In the southern hemisphere. In the northern hemisphere, it's April and July. But this is what we're looking at, this time frame. The last one is the olives, all the trees. Now let's go back to the ton time, the, the uh, tender, and put forth her leaves. Now my friend in uh, Texas, RJ, they shed their leaves and they put new leaves, untimely. Now let's listen to my beautiful sister here, what she have to say. Hi guys, Shabbat Shalom this morning. Um, so yesterday. 
following the leading of the Holy Spirit, I think we're going to be going into a new phase for me here in the land of Israel, where I continue just to show you the scriptures and their meaning uh, in the agriculture. So, gosh, it's so humbling. I just want to tell you, <laughs> there's no greatness in me past the Holy Spirit. But this morning, I want to bring to you a verse that uh, the Father has just dealt with me. He's speaking so vividly in my life right now that it, it's, I'm in, going through a period where it's almost hard to keep up with him because it's so rich and meaty that I want to pause and linger there and savor what he's just said. And yet he's pulling me forward <laughs> to the next thing he's saying. So that's what I mean. It's almost hard to keep up with him. You know that I have been opposed to the traditional understanding of seasons in Israel. And I have told you that even the words for summer and winter do not mean an atmospheric condition or the progression of the temperature or the lack of rain on the land. So today I want to give you a perfect example of what I've been trying to show you. And I want to see if I can turn this around since I'm doing a video. I don't think I can. I think I need to pause. Let me see if I can do it if I pause. I can't even do it if I pause. So I'm going to read you the verse. This is Matthew 24, 32. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. Well, the word summer is the word kites in Hebrew. And everything about the word summer that the King James writers use is tied up with understanding the agricultural harvest of the grains. Okay, so the word summer is kites. If you look in Proverbs about the parable of the ant, it says, go to the ant, you sluggard, I'm paraphrasing, that they gather their meat they harvest, they, they, they cut, they harvest their meat, their grain during the harvest. That's literally what it says from the understanding of the word kites, the root word which shares uh, harvest, it shares the King James word summer, and it shares the word cutting. Okay, so kites. So now we know that the parable of the fig tree, when it is tender, we know that a harvest is nigh. And this time of year, the harvest that is nigh, that the Messiah is speaking about, is himself as the first omer of barley. I want to show you my fig tree today. See if I can make sure that I'm getting all of them in there. So here we are just against the harvesting of the omer of barley and we have a fig tree putting on its tender leaves. The Messiah in this passage was speaking about himself being harvested at the time of tender leaves and the judgment that would come on Jerusalem at the destruction of the temple. Again, when you look at the word kites, think harvest, it attaches itself to the harvest of the grains in the land of Israel. When you look at the word horif, winter, it has to do with the time of the year the land can be stripped. And I am telling you, my experience is that these, these, these tender greens he provides that become woody after we get out of the, the early feast, they become woody. They're all deep rooted to survive as long as they can because the rains have shut off and they're deep rooted. And so they last a little longer after the rains shut off. But So, like I said, I wanted to show you this. I thought it's encouragement to you. Um, it's encouraging to me. To me. She is getting the same thing. Here's the date. I know that my friends, they have uh, figs on their trees. They're untimely. They're smaller. They're just as it says right here. They're, they're, uh, they're infants. 
they're small, they are stunted, and uh, as wind shaken, as it says right here, branches are tender. You saw them right there in the video. Then, like I said, I'm looking at the 20th to the 23rd, the 19th. God bless you all. I hope this was a blessing to you because it was a blessing to me. God bless.